Kids First, and today we're talking about the new series, Growing Up, which it begins streaming on Disney Plus September 8th, 2022. Today, I will have the pleasure of speaking with Nicole Lovoski, the showrunner, executive producer, and director of the episode Alex, Kishori Rajan, the other director of the episode Alex, Samiri Mundara, the director of the episode Athena, Ashley Eakin, who is the director of the episode Emily, and Gavin Arneson, who is the hero in his own episode called Gavin. So, uh, Ms. Goboski, as showrunner and director of the show, can you tell us about the process for selecting the heroes in the show? Yeah, for sure. We uh, really identified topics first that we knew we wanted to cover in the show. And uh, myself and Kishori was one of the first producers that I brought onto the project. And we then started going down really through Instagram, started looking for young people who were comfortable sharing and kind of advocating across these different topics. Um, and so Smriti directed an episode about body image, Ashley directed an episode about disability, Gavin's episode is about um, financial insecurity. And so we knew we wanted to do those topics. And then we started to look for people that were willing to share their story. So we ended up talking to hundreds of young people in the casting process and then narrowing down and working with amazing directors who also wanted to tell stories on that topic to pick each person that was gonna kind of represent by that time, not just that topic, but just tell their story that had that topic involved. It sounds like a cool process. Yeah, it was It was really amazing. Just really powerful to hear hundreds of people's stories. Uh, so Mr. Anison, uh, in your episode, you talk about your experience growing up in uh, poverty. What is something that you hope people will uh, learn from your episode? It's a really good question. <laughs> Uh, I think um, when I was growing up in Nebraska and sort of experiencing this, I just wish that someone would told would have told me that it was going to be okay. And I hope that if young people are watching it or young people are going through it right now, they too feel like there's something uh, waiting on the other side for them that they'll get through it. And uh, so, Miss Eakin, how exciting was it for you to uh, direct an episode about disability and spreading awareness? It was really powerful for me. <clears throat> I was, sorry. <laughs> um, it was really powerful for me because I was born with a physical disability and this came to me, this opportunity, Kishori actually found me and reached out and that doesn't happen. And usually disability is left out of the conversation when it comes to diversity. So um, this was amazing. And Emily's story, there's so many connections with mine and so many differences as well. And just learning from her, it was a really beautiful process and the casting process, like Nicole was saying about meeting all these other disabled people. Like I wish we could have picked everyone, but you had to narrow it down. So so uh, Ms. Rajan, you directed the episode about Alex. How did Alex's story shed light on the issue of depression for you? Uh, yeah, I co-directed with Nicole. Um, and I think I think the, the thing that was most inspiring for me was just just her total understanding of how how it's it, how much community is required for her to to move through this. Um, this feeling that she was having that I think American culture really can emphasize individualism to a degree where we forget that like humans are social creatures and need communities to survive and difficult things require other people's help. And um, I think her understanding of that at such a young age and understanding that I need to talk to my mom, I need to talk to my friends, a professional therapist is helpful for me. Um, was such a, ref I, I took a lot of um, wisdom from that just as in general, it's like sometimes you don't actually have to have the answers to everything yourself and you just need to look outside at, at who, who, look at your tribe, look at people in your life. Um, we're not we're not built as humans to solve everything on our own. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Ms. Wandura, as one of the show's directors, in what ways did your previous experience help you uh, direct this episode? Um, you know, as a documentary filmmaker, a lot of my work, um, you know, 
comes in the form of really helping creating an environment of trust for people to tell their own stories. I never really look at it as like I'm telling somebody's story. It's I'm sort of providing an environment that feels safe for other people to tell their stories to the world. Um, but I have to say this experience impacted me in a way that no other project I've ever done has. It really, I it in in working with Athena to tell her story, I really felt like one, I was making something from the younger me, you know, that I really needed as a younger person and still need today. Um, but also, you know, I, I felt like I was really excavating a lot of my own story in, in working with Athena. Um, and that was really, really powerful. It was really amazing to be able to do that and to work in partnership with her. Athena's an amazing storyteller herself. So really my job was to just sort of be a guiding hand for her to feel comfortable and safe in, in talking about some of the most vulnerable times in her life. Okay, so thank you everyone for talking to me. That was great, Avalon. Thanks, thank you Avalon. so much. Thank you for talking with me, Nicole Glavoski, Kishori Rajan, Samiri Mundara, Ashley Eakin, and Gavin Arneson. Growing Up begins streaming on Disney Plus starting September 8th, 2022. I'm Avalon, reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our Kids First channel so you don't miss any interviews or reviews.